growth stocks should increase in price and dividend stocks should increase in cash flow. So why not invest in dividend growth stocks? Now some of the obvious ones in this category would be some of my favorite stocks like Apple and Microsoft and even Visa, but everyone knows about those, so I'm gonna mix it up. This video is gonna be a bunch of new stocks that I've never covered on this channel, and I'm excited to take you through them. When researching new stocks to add, you wanna have a certain criteria. And for me to consider any new stocks, they have to have the following. They have to have a market cap above $15 billion. I'm not looking for small companies, I'm looking for relatively safe companies that'll be around for a long period of time. I want a payout ratio at or below 60%. A relatively low payout ratio ensures that the company still has sufficient room for future dividend enhancements. This is particularly important for dividend growth investors that aim to invest with a long investment horizon. I want to see the average dividend growth rate over the past five years above 5% because a relatively high dividend growth rate of more than 5% over the past five years increases the probability of the company being able to raise its dividend to a significant amount in the following years. I also want to have a PE ratio under 25 because anything over 25 is a little expensive. And of course, I'm looking for a solid dividend yield at or above 3%. I'm Professor G and I made this channel to make investing simplified. Now the first stock on this list is Darden Restaurants Inc, ticker symbol DRI. One of the biggest restaurant conglomerates in America, Darden operates brands including Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, Yard House, and Capital Grill. The company was able to weather the pandemic very successfully thanks to the integration of online ordering and carryout across its franchises. DRI has a current price of $152.42. Over the past year, they're up 15% even during a down market with high inflation. The dividend yield here is 3.18%. They have a market cap of 18.43 billion, a PE ratio under 20 at 19.9. DRI has a payout ratio of 61.61%. I know I said I'm looking for 60 and below, but this is right there, so chill. They have a five-year dividend growth of 13.94%. So I started with this one because it's likely one that you don't know about, but it's definitely one that you should dive a little bit deeper into and, and consider it for your portfolio. Number two is one that you definitely know about, and it's United Parcel Service. UPS. UPS is currently benefiting from multiple factors, including the uptick in e-commerce demand. COVID forced us to do business in a new way where many companies had to increase their shipping because customers have learned to and expect to shop from afar. UPS is happy to connect sellers and buyers with a robust business model that's incredibly tough and incredibly expensive with a high barrier to entry. The current price for UPS is $192.87. They're up about 3% over the last year. UPS has a very solid dividend yield of 3.36% and a huge market cap of $165.23 billion. Still a very, very low PE ratio, under 15 at 14.61. Their payout ratio is very nice at 46.95%. And they've had a solid five-year dividend growth of 12.69%. Now the next stock in number three comes from the healthcare sector and it's on a very nice sale right now. And this one is called Bristol Myers Squibb BMY. New York based Bristol Myers Squibb is one of the leading global specialty biopharmaceutical companies focused on the development of treatments targeting serious diseases. Bristol Myers has a strong oncology portfolio consisting of other drugs like Revlimid, Pomalist, Sprycell, Yervoy, and implicity. And I'm not sure if I said any of those drug names right, so I understand if you roast me in the comment section for that one. BMY has a current share price of $70.45, and as I said, it's on sale over the last year by being down over 8%. It has a very beautiful dividend yield over 3% at 3.24, a market cap of 148.18 billion. The PE ratio is at 23.9. The payout ratio is incredibly low at 28.44%, so there's a lot of room for growth there. And it's got a five-year dividend growth of 7.04%. Healthcare is definitely a solid sector, and if you're investing in individual companies, you definitely want to include that in your portfolio and get a nice little piece of the pie there. Now on to number four. And in these next two are going to be very interesting because before this year, I would say that this category was very boring, very constant, 
Not really a lot of excitement, but at least it gives you some safety and stability. But then Silicon Valley Bank had to go and collapse, and with that send an uproar through the whole financial system. This absolutely shot so much fear that I haven't seen in a long time into the financial industry. And because of that, a bunch of smaller banks and smaller financial institutions really got hit hard. But a couple of the bigger banks and bigger financial institutions actually got strengthened because people wanted to go and trust where the big money was. But the crazier thing even than that overall is that the industry overall is still perceived as super shaky. And so even though these big banks obviously got strengthened and got bigger, they're actually on sale at a very nice price because of everyone's emotional response to this whole bank collapse thing. So right now is a very smart time for investors to get involved, especially in this next one because it's on major sale. And this one is Bank of America, BAC. BAC is a good buy at the current level given its low valuation, decent dividend yield, tailwinds from the rising interest rate environment, and good loan book growth prospects as it catches up with the deposit growth. BAC has a current price of $29.52. Over the last year, it's down 24%. So that's that huge sale that I was talking about. It has a dividend yield right at 3%, and it's got a very solid market cap of $236.14 billion. That PE ratio is in incredibly nice at 9.27. A PE ratio under 10 is insane, guys. The only reason you wouldn't scoop this up is if you really think that banks are just gonna go obsolete and nobody's gonna use banks anymore. BAC has a payout ratio very low at 26.96% and a five-year dividend growth at 14.87%. All of those numbers are some of the best that I've seen from a single company in a long time. So like I said, I have to go back to back with financials here because right now is just such a crazy opportunity with all the fear in the market. The next one does take a bit of a hit on my investing outlook just because of ethical and moral concerns that have happened with this company. But then again, with a lot of big companies, there's always gonna be some type of shadiness involved. But purely financially, this one is amazing. And this is JP Morgan, JPM. And it's a top bank in the entire world with one of the most recognizable leaders. CEO Jamie Dimon is a strong leader and spokesman for the banking industry as a whole and has guided JPM into a dominant global position. JPM has a current price of $138.73. For the last year, this one's interesting because they're actually up at this time 7.99%, but a lot of that happened just yesterday when they announced their Q1 earnings and blew their estimates out of the water. As far as their dividend yield, since their price shot up, the yield is down now, but I expect it to rise as well. But right now, it's currently at 2.88%. Now, this bank is a behemoth at $406.68 billion market cap, and the P.E. ratio is still quite low at 11.48. Their payout ratio is incredibly low, so there's even more room for growth here at 22.14%, and the five-year dividend growth is 12.91%. Again, purely financially, JPM really checks all the boxes for investors. And before going on to this last one, if you haven't yet, you need to check out this all-inclusive platform for investors. If you're looking to learn all aspects of the investing world, the reason why I love it so much for you guys and why I'm pushing it here on my channel is because I truly believe that if you wanna learn something, you might as well learn it from the expert in that space. And so you subscribe to this channel because you know that I'm gonna teach you about ETF, and safe investing in individual stocks, but it's really long-term horizon. And so if you're looking to maybe add in a little bit of short-term, maybe some day trading, maybe some crypto, and maybe just overall learning different investing techniques, which you should definitely do, you should go to a place where it's got a bunch of different experts all in one area. And this platform is called Finova. Here you'll get access to live and new coaching calls every week from experts, a whole archive of helpful videos in a bunch of different categories, access to a Discord with over 37,000 members and exclusive content that isn't on YouTube. With my link down below, you all will get a seven day free trial. So check it out and let me know what you think.
All right, so number six is going to be in the information technology realm, but it's not one of the companies that you're probably thinking of right now. This one is none other than Texas Instruments, TXN. Once famous for calculators, Texas Instruments now earns most of its revenue from manufacturing semiconductors, and it's the world's largest maker of analog chips. While many other technology stocks saw big declines in 2022, Texas Instruments weathered the storm fairly well. The stock is out performed the S&P 500 by 9% per year over the last decade, making it an incredible stock to own long term. The current price for TXN is $178.98. Over the last year, it's up 1.37%. It has a dividend yield almost at 3%, 2.77. The market cap is $162.4 billion. PE ratio under 20 at 19. The payout ratio is still low at 48.4%. The five-year dividend growth rate is 16.37%, and this company has an added bonus that they have 17 years straight of dividend growth. Now, if you've watched this whole video and you're wondering how many stocks should I actually own or how many ETFs should I have in my portfolio, check this video out now for the answer.